Are you in the mood for a dramatic mystery? Netflix brings us Anatomy of a Scandal, a British limited series based on the novel by Sarah Vaughan. So is this one on your binge list? And more importantly, should it be? James and Sophie Whitehouse live in a blissful and rarefied world. As a minister in parliament with a loving family at home, James's trajectory appears without limits. That is, until a scandalous secret suddenly comes to light. I typically love limited series shows. They're constrained and forced to have a conclusion. Now, even if that conclusion is trash, at least we know the show won't languish on in perpetuity, disappointing more and more people over the course of many seasons. But the opposite is also true. When a limited series is done right, it creates a tight story that can satisfy with its ability to build out the necessary emotion and then find a satisfying resolution. The new Netflix limited series, Anatomy of a Scandal, is six episodes that puts us in the middle of a court case where a respected member of British Parliament is accused of sexual assault. And I know the real accusation is different, but that R word just does have the tendency to get videos demonetized, so I'm going to continue to use sexual assault in its place. We watch how this accusation affects his home life, his marriage, his work, and also how it affects the life of the prosecutor who specializes in cases of sexual assault. This stars Sienna Miller, Michelle Dockery, Rupert Friend, and Naomi Scott. Now, Friend plays James Whitehouse, a charismatic parliamentarian who seems to care greatly for his constituents. He's got a loving family, and he appears to have a wonderful relationship with his wife, Sophie, who's played by Sienna Miller. But one night he breaks some bad news to her. And although they can weather the storm together if they choose, an allegation of sexual assault then comes, thrusting James into a court battle. Michelle Dockery plays the prosecutor, and she is driven and fully committed to putting criminals behind bars. But there's also something in her mannerisms and her eyes that hints at more in her personality that causes her to be just so adamant in her pursuit of the law. I think many of the arcs in this will be fairly predictable as the story just plays out. I mean, there may be one or two surprises here and there, but the ones that I believe the show thinks are bombshells, you'll see coming well before the actual reveal. Now, that's not to say that these make the show any less enjoyable. I mean, I was sucked into the drama that's unfolding, but I wasn't terribly surprised when elements are brought into the light. There's a lot of doubt the story creates when it comes to the guilt or innocence of James. And it's easy to believe one way, but there are certain plausibilities, even if they seem reprehensible, that are unearthed, which then could cause you to hold back on certain suspicions. The mystery angle of the story comes about mainly through flashbacks, where we see James, his best friend who is now the Prime Minister, and his then-girlfriend, now-wife Sophie, all at Oxford. The behaviors we see on display, I'm sure will just make Oxford overjoyed to be seen and be associated with. I mean, even if it's pure fiction, we get to see the privilege of rich and extreme excess on display and all the wonderfully terrible behaviors that are showcased with that. But in these flashbacks, we also get massive insight into the character of the characters. Are they noble and just, or are they horrendously selfish and spoiled? I mean, I'm sure you're going to guess correctly right away, but the actions are slowly revealed from the past, and it is a little intriguing in how they influence and then affect the present. Sienna Miller is quiet and reserved in this, taking everything in and becoming the long-suffering wife. Now, her character is asked to basically just stuff all emotion for the public, just in order to not create any type of ripple in the news that can affect her husband's case. But we get to see the toll it takes on her. And I love how despite playing out the dutiful role, she's not stupid. And she is consistently working out the details as the information comes at her. It's also really frustrating to watch James's cavalier attitude when it comes to the case. I mean, sure, he is worried about the outcome, but he has this certain smugness to him that could either be because he's truly innocent or because he has influence in places others just aren't aware of. But there are interactions that the dude has with his wife that just make you want to push his head through the wall. And those often begin with this long sigh that he does and the words, don't hate me. <sighs> All right, we know another shoe is about to drop when he says that. The strength of the story, though, comes when the information can be credibly twisted in one way or another and still make sense. I like the doubt and the conundrum that this creates, even if the actual execution is a bit more obvious and less obscured. These six episodes are each under 50 minutes, so they move along rather quickly. Now, there are elements that are repetitive, which makes them less effective in the long run. But overall, the series does have a decent pace to it that maintains a steady drive. The story plays heavily on the themes of loyalty, whether that be family loyalty, career loyalty, or the loyalty of friends. And each of these exploits relationships in order to maintain a status quo, whether that be through guilt or genuine desire. I think some of the imagery in this could be triggering. What we're shown deliberately has two opposing viewpoints, one seen from a harmless and consensual view and the other from an assault point of view. 
And while it's not graphic in nature, the actions and then descriptions, they don't leave anything to the imagination, which can be disturbing. So overall, Anatomy of a Scandal is a decent dramatic mystery with some wonderful acting. The players all craft characters that are meant to elicit sympathy, derision, or even confusion, and I think they accomplish it well. While the mystery aspect is present, I think the story believes it's way more clever than it actually is. But that wasn't a huge detraction for me. I was, though, hoping that certain elements wouldn't have been so obvious. The story has a very disturbing element to it, and I really enjoyed how the theme of loyalty was explored. The pacing is tight and it's consistent, and even though there are a few repetitive portions, on the whole, the story moves along efficiently, leading to a decisive payoff. There's sex, nudity, a ton of profanity, and a bunch of violence, including sexual assault. I give Anatomy of a Scandal three and a half out of five couches. What's a good mystery you've seen recently? Let me know about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.